How's it going guys? It's Dave and welcome back to Talking Walls. Walls are into the round of 16 for the Carabao Cup after lying on a penalty shootout to defeat Championship side Reading. Uh, I'm going to be giving my thoughts today. I know plenty of you guys uh, couldn't make it today, whether that be because of work or whatnot. But uh, yeah, try and give my thoughts as, as best as I can. Um, Wolves, as expected, start on a rotated team. Uh, Bruno Jordao coming in for his debut. Uh, some youngsters on the bench as well, but they started a ruddying goal. An interesting back through Kilman, Vallejo, and Bennett. Connor Cody missing his first game in God knows how long. I think the last game he missed was Swansea City in the FA Cup replay um, almost two years ago, probably a year and nine months ago, uh, which is ridiculous. Uh, Vinagre and Doc starting as the wing backs today. Neves with Jordao and Morgan Gibbs White in the middle, and Catrone and Neto starting up front. And I've got to say, the, the first half was pretty positive for me. It was great for us to actually. You know, for me as a fan as well, to watch a game where we're actually playing football. You know, especially this season, we have struggled to to get our foot on the ball a little bit, and um, it, it, you know, it, it was good to watch us play football again. Uh, I thought Bruno Jordan was fantastic first half. He just, I think, him and Morgan alongside Ruben Neves. As much as we want Ruben Neves to be to be an advanced player, um, him, uh, uh, he was a little bit deeper today, and I think him and Neves. Alongside, uh, no, him and Jordan, Morgan and Jordan, alongside Neves, worked quite well because they were the two advanced players and they kept going forward and backwards. We created a couple of half chances early doors in the first half, nothing really of note. Uh, There's a good chance where Neto, who was uh, really decent on the ball today, uh, got down into the box. He, went, he got brought down, obviously, from 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 where the fans are sitting, it's very difficult to tell. It looked like a penalty shout, but the ref put it the other way and gave a bucket to Neto uh, for a dive. Um, and I was a little bit worried then because Neto was getting his foot on the ball so much. We were giving the ball a lot and all it takes is one misjudged touch and him stretching for the ball for him to, to get a second booking. Fortunately, that wasn't the case, but obviously we did have a bad luck with a, a couple of injuries, which we'll talk about. Um, firstly, Bruno Jordão. Uh, towards the end of the the first half, uh, came uh, obviously. Uh, oh, I think it was a 50-50. Unfortunately, he went down injured. Uh, he carried on, but then again went down, um, and unfortunately had to be brought off, which was a shame because he had a great debut. And of course, hopefully that isn't too bad. I'm not too sure on the update at the moment. And Taylor Perry uh, got brought on for him and uh, came on in the midfield for the last sort of five or six minutes of the first half. So first half was a good job. I think we played well. We got our foot on the ball. We tried to play football and create a couple of chances. Uh, of course, Jordao's goal uh, was a great finish. Uh, well, I say that. He was a, a good advancing run. Uh, screams from the crowd to shoot, and he did. Uh, pretty poor goalkeeping. He fumbled it into the back of the net. But great for, well, it would have been great for his confidence and, and so on. And hopefully it will be great for his confidence as long as um, that... Um, that injury isn't too bad. Um, in, in regards to the second half, though, as a fan, I'm extremely, extremely disappointed with that second half, to be honest. We... <sighs> We invited way too much pressure and we made it difficult for ourselves. Um, of course, there are reasons that Reading did get their goal in the end, but for me, it wasn't, there wasn't any glaring negative poor performances from players, but it's just the way we set up. It was dreadful for me in that second half. We sat way too deep, invited too much pressure. Um, and we were just, we didn't want to put our foot on the ball. We could not get a kick. In that second half, Reading were pressing a little bit higher. They made it very difficult for us. And in the end, we were resorting to long balls. Up to Neto, OK, one or two came off and we looked all right. But we didn't want to get the ball in the box. Morgan Gibbs-White as well, you know, creating, creating chances, pushing forward, but way too long on the ball outside the area. Have a shot or play it into someone. He's just dilly-dallying too long on the edge of the box. Um, I think Perry struggled to get into the game a little bit, unfortunately, today, um, which is understandable. I know uh, Jordao, you know, he's been in that first team level before he can walk into these games and have that experience. I know Perry hasn't really had that experience before, uh, but at, at times on the ball, he was OK, but just didn't really get involved as much as I would have wanted him to. Um, and again, still, with 1-0 to go, 15 minutes, 1-0, uh, 15 minutes to go. Uh, he then brings on Meriton Shabani, who's been great in the under-23s as well, a lad we bought him from Bayern Munich in the summer. Uh, he came on initially in midfield then Neto got substituted off and Shabani moved up front and we made all three changes right then because Luke Kundal had come on as well and he comes down injured um I don't know you know at first of all maybe he's gone down trying to waste a little bit of time and so on but he got stretched off as well as Jordao and put us down to 10 men firstly the first thing I thought you know uh, Rob Rob Edwards of course he's been um he's had a fantastic run with the under 23 so far this season um 
we've brought these lads in the first team and arguably two of his best players have come off today injured although it was a great performance by Wolves uh, first half second half was poor for me going down to 10 men because of the injuries and so on the ref added nine minutes on to the game and uh, they were just pressing and pressing and pressing and eventually I've got to say John really made a couple of very very smart stops today he kept us in the game a couple of times but uh, eventually they did score and it was right at the death. Uh, the 99th minute, a Rabona cross in and a header into the back of the net and there was nothing you could do. Uh, and then I thought, you know, Wolves, notoriously, Carabao Cup, we notoriously get knocked out of penalties. However, that's the first goal we've conceded in the Carabao Cup under Nuno. Um, and it was a little bit disappointing, but they were firing up their crowd. It looked like they were really going to go for it. Penalties down the North Bank end as well. I wasn't too confident, but we did them in the end. A very interesting choice of penalty takers. Neves smashed it in. I say smashed it in, placed it in. Uh, Vallejo, Bennett, and then in, eventually it was Vinagre with the winner. There, They missed two, one skied and one saved by John Ridley, but we'll take it every day of the week. We're through to the next round. Against Aston Villa, uh, which isn't, uh, it's not a great draw, but obviously something to get us going. But, you know, one more winning, you're in the quarterfinals. You know, this is a, very, because of us being in Europe, we've got a couple of buys. We're well in this, well in this competition. And, you know, a win against Villa, depending on dates, I'd go for it. Hopefully our league form's gone up as well. Go for it. You, you know, you, folks, the chances of us being in the Europa League again next year are very slim, are judged on league performances. You got every right to go for this. A couple of Premier League big sides have been knocked out already, uh, big chat t time. And for me, as a fan, regardless of us being in Europa League, regardless of us struggling a little bit in Premier League, if if you can rotate the team, we've got great fringe players like Neto, like Catrone, um, you know, like Vallejo, who's not really getting in the team at the moment, like Kilman, who's a good player, Vinagre, Adama slash Doc, Ruddy. You've got a good, you've got a good back backbone there. Let's go for it. One more win. Uh, if we can beat the Villa, we're in the quarterfinal. You know, and you're in the last eight straight away. But hopefully I gave you guys a little bit of an insight to the game. If you did go today or listen to it on the radio or what have you, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. Again, disappointed to see a couple of the boys injured, but hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, subscribe to the channel as well. Big thanks to Carabao for sorting us out some tickets for today. Uh, hopefully, maybe they'll give us some tickets for the Villa game as well. So keep your eyes out on our Twitter and so on for those. But until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'm sure I'll see you all very, very soon.